going on everybody so I'm out here family camping and uh, it's been hard to get away um, I was gonna film the episode but not everybody wants to be on YouTube and not everybody wants everything filmed so I snuck off it's about 5 o'clock 5 30 in the afternoon it's a lot of high banks up here we're in a reservoir up in Washington at the base of Mount St. Helens so a lot of high banks I'm about probably 20 feet up but I do have a little trail to get down to the water I'm gonna plunk this rod and get this bobber set up out there. I do have my spinner set up. Here, check this out real quick. <laughs> Got the sun going down through the trees up there. It's a really pretty evening. Just out here on this cliff. Maybe you guys can see down there. But uh, there's some trout and some kokanee and stuff like that. So, uh, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll put a little fishing episode together. Stay tuned. Was that a bite or did I hit my rod? Did you guys see that? Did I do that? Because I just heard one jump over here. Or it could have been a bird or a tree, a branch, I guess. Oh, oh, we're getting hit, guys. That was a bite. Let's go. Come on, Chris, you take it. Oh, there it is, there it is. It's a squawfish, squawfish. Well, that sucks. That's not what we wanted. Let's see if I can get this hook out of him. There you go. All right, he's gone. Hook was barely in him. I think I set the hook and it pulled me into a bank, so it's hard to feel him. It's a really steep bank down here, but hey, there's one fish. Let's go. I'll take it. I don't have anywhere to wipe my hands off. Kind of thinking I might need to get my bobber set up. Like, I don't know if the trout are on top. There's kokanee out here, which are really amazing. If I catch a kokanee, I'd love to uh, eat it. So good. For those who don't know, kokanee is a uh, landlocked sockeye salmon. Couldn't really do a catch and cook. I mean, we could, but... We've got a burn ban, so no fires. There's been some pretty big fires up here on both sides of these reservoirs up here at the base of Mount St. Helens. But I really want to get my bobber set up in the water because it's a different water column. We'll see what's up top. So that's a whole worm. I ran it up the line. The hook sticking out just below that salmon egg there. Check out this new cast king reel I got. Uh, 
$19 on Amazon. It's pretty trick, a little ultralight. And I'll show you what I really like about it really quick. When you want to put it away or in your rod locker, you just push this button and the handle folds in. So it's only this wide as the bale versus what, another three inches? Pretty cool little setup. And I've liked casking. I've been using my casking pliers for a while. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, I've enjoyed using their gear. Anyway, here we go. Have I been getting hit? While well, I was yapping. All right, well, we'll see how that bobber does. Oh no, I snagged on myself. But we're not getting any bites on the bottom rig. They stole our, stole our stuff. Oh, we got problems, guys. Okay. Whew. I was getting tangled up there for a second. But we were tangled up. Because the bottom rig got us tangled up. But, quick fix. Well, it didn't take me long to snag myself. Jeez. I'm gonna cast them a little closer to shore. Ooh, that looks good. Oh. Did you guys see that? Oh. That was a big fish. Oh my God, did you guys see that? What are the chances of just walking out here on the edge and like this big massive fish rolls right out in front of you? I don't know what it was. It looked pretty chrome, but you never know. It could be a carp or, um, which I wouldn't mind playing a carp either. That was a big fish that rolled. I really want to get that. I want to catch that fish, guys. All right, come on, big boy. Got something for you. I'd say that's within five feet or so of where he was rolling at. It's the end of summer, you can feel it. It was raining when we took off to come out here. Definitely want to make sure my canopy's rainproof. For those of you that watch the uh, first part of the makeover on the canopy, I started to try to tint my windows. It was a disaster. I suck at it so bad. I did it three different times, three different ways. It looks so bad. My son that was in the last episode, he got the windows on his Mustang tinted from a guy and they look fantastic. There's just somebody that has a little personal business, does it out of his backyard, so I'm getting a quote on that. And then as far as the rod locker goes, super expensive to build those conduit pipe rod holders right now. So I did order a rod locker and it'll be there when I get home. Um, it was like one that you travel with, but it extends, extends and stuff, and the guy said he had it on top of his rig. So I'm going to check it out, and if that... I'm just not into spending a lot of money on this truck. It's old, you know. I, I like I want to buy a brand new canopy, but I'm not going to buy it for this truck. This truck's 2,000. It's got 150,000 miles on it, and I've done a lot to it. Put a brand new Bilstein suspension and brakes and tires and exhaust and intake and front and rear diff. It's got a brand new tranny, bigger intercooler. I mean, I could go on and on, but at the end of the day, it's still a 2,000. And if you guys saw the last episode, uh, the Labor Day camping, the redneck yachts that was that was me broke down at the end of the episode there uh, man nothing on that bobber yet anyway appreciate you guys following along appreciate you guys following along cheers looking forward to the fall and the snow having you guys come along with me pretty new to this youtube thing i only started in may oh
Oh, the bobber's moving, guys. Oh, shit. Just getting a bite. I got one. The stupidest dog of them all. So a lot just happened there. I was getting a bite with the bobber. My girlfriend and my German Shepherd walked up. My lion had drifted across the top of the water and snagged this branch down here, so I couldn't get onto the... Oh, oh. Jeez. Fish. Fish, guys. Oh, no. I still got it? I still... Oh. Stay on. Stay on. Yes. <laughs> Fish, let's go. What is that? Whoa, that is a nice crappie. Wow, look at that crappie. That thing is nice. All right, Mr. Crappie got you right in the lip. There you go, guys. Nice little crappie. Banged it. All right, buddy. Sorry about that. Gone. That was cool. We would have definitely loved to eat him, but like you said, we're doing steak tonight. There's no fires. So we're just out here on a catch and release trip. Crappie, there's crappie out here. I didn't know that. Wow, I'm gonna be able to come up here and target all kinds of stuff. Heck yeah, crappie, let's go. I love me some crappie. Man, make the best fish sticks in the world. Let's try to get one more of those. Might have been lucky too. I got a pretty big hook on here to hold all this bait. Trout seemed to gulp it. Colored mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> I think the crown royal is getting to me. Colored marshmallows. But anyway, I think I was telling a story before that fish bit. So my girlfriend walks up, all that's going on, right? The barber's getting snagged, everything. Finally reel in. Then these two really nice people showed up. A boyfriend and girlfriend look like, or a couple, husband, wife, something. And um, they'd never fished before. So I had to take the time to show them all my stuff and told them to go home and chop up some of their marshmallows from their s'mores. Go get themselves some some eggs because they've been using worms on a bobber all day and i was like if they're not on top you got to go down to the bottom let's talk about those different water columns i had one bite that i think was a bite on the bobber but everything we've caught the squaw on that crappie's been on the bottom there's this fishing bag it has a cooler on the top <laughs> pretty awesome Man, I'd really like to get one more on this before I gotta go back and make dinner. But that's a lie, I'd like to get 10 more. Sit out here all night and for the rest of the week, lay by fires in my truck, slave fish and breathe this mountain air. That's what I really wanna do. Check out this view. The rod's going off. Did you guys see that? Damn it. Then I kicked it. The rod's going off while we were talking. As soon as I showed you guys that view, I think banged. I'm going to pick it up. Come on, fishy. Oh. Every time I goof around. Ah. Not paying attention. Hanging out with you guys, looking at the view. And then I get a bite and panic and kick my rod. <laughs> That's real fishing for you guys, just so you know. 
see all these edited videos of just hooking fish and slaying them. That's not true. Get hooks in your sweater, snags, caught up on stuff, breaking off. You just got to learn to be fast at tying back up. All right, I'm not getting a bite. Let's check it. Fish. Oh, because I'm hung up. No. No. What was I just talking about? See? All right, I'm hung up. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I just broke off. Um, watch. We're going to rig this up really quick, throw it out, and catch a fish. Stay tuned. Does it look juicy or what? Let's go. All right, fish gods. Do this one more fishy. Appreciate you guys following along, doing this little quick little fishing trip with me. At least we got the scrawfish and the crappie, <laughs> and a lot of snags and uh, mess ups in between. But that's fishing. When it becomes catching is when it gets fun. But I still love being out here all alone right now. And I appreciate you guys watching and following along. If you guys want to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It'll definitely help me grow. And if not, come back and watch again sometime later. I'll get better at this. It's funny, I'm sitting here thinking, just be patient, you're going to catch one. But uh, that's what I always think. <laughs> I've had long days of being patient. That's mentally exhausting and not catching anything. Definitely gotta love being out here. If you guys like the gear I wear in the videos, go check them out, Shredfin Fishing. They're a veteran owned and operated company out of Louisiana. 250,000 followers on Facebook. Great people, they sponsored me. Um, maybe saw some potential or something, I don't know. But uh, anyway, gave me a sponsorship and I'm super thankful, uh, really cool guys. You guys use my code SHRED15, you get 15% off anything on their site. Super sick logo, right? Gear down the arms. It's pretty cool stuff, so go check them out. Tell them Trevor said hi. You get a kick out of that. The little TikTok YouTube guy. They went to bed. Oh no. Oh no. The same snag. Oh, come on. That's how it goes sometimes. Ugh. Oh, did I get it? I got it. Yes. She gave this one back to me. We're going to take that as a sign. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for going on this quick little fishing trip with me. And, uh, you know, when you go camping, you just only have so much time to run off and but I'm glad we caught a couple. Had some fun out here. Time to go back and make some dinner. Till next time guys, I'll see you in the woods.